Hi, welcome to my virtual presentation. I am Dr. Kibet of the Center for Open Distance and E-Learning, Machakos University. In this video, we shall look at the challenges that require community education. Hopefully, this video will help you reflect on the many issues that concerns community education. Uh, let's look at the challenges that actually require that we have community education. This includes the following. Rapid population growth. Often, people think about raising the number of children they can be able to feed. Hardly do some people think about the infrastructure and the public facilities available. This means that if one family is well planned and the others in the neighborhood are not, there will be a competition for the few resources and thus maims children's optimum performance. This means that community members need to be enlightened on issues pertaining to family planning. Number two, economic disparities. The gap between the rich and the poor can be reduced through community education. In many world communities, the poor are subdued to such an extent that they adore the rich. Some poor people will spend a whole day discussing the rich. Even when exploited, they consider it an opportunity to work for them. Such people need community education to help them out of their helplessness and work towards self-actualization. The other issue is environmental degradation. This is the exploitation of available resources due to deforestation, inappropriate waste, waste disposal, soil erosion, and air pollution. Community members continue to mess with their natural environment, oblivious of the consequences. For proper regulation of seasons, there must be trees in the first environment. This calls for all community members' participation. Hazards such as air pollution directly affect the entire neighborhoods indiscriminately. This means that a member who does not get involved in polluting the environment will also be affected by activities of others. The other point is politics. When there is scramble for power, members of a community require empowerment in, a, in order to make wise choices. In Kenya, for example, ethnicity has always been misused due to ignorance of the masses. There is need for members of the community to have an exposure of the actual values that they should seek for in an aspiring politician. Conflicts. Conflict is another issue that requires community education. Conflicts often occur due to ignorance. There is need to provide community education to warring communities in order to help them solve their problems without causing unnecessary harm to others, most of whom are of them blameless. Marginalized populations. This could be internally displaced persons, referred to as the IDPs, or refugees from other countries. IDPs are not internalized recognized, thus their needs may not be externally met or addressed. These people need community education to help them become aware of ways in which they could participate for effective living. Epidemics. The other issue that requires community education is epidemics. When there is an outbreak of an infectious or a contagious disease, community members require education on how to prevent and, and the spread of a disease or how to take care of their affected kinsmen. And finally, urbanization. Since independence, 
there has been the tendency of rural urban migration. Most of the migrants move from rural to urban areas in search for employment. They need awareness on how they could utilize the locally available resources for their livelihood. That marks the end of this lecture and we've been looking at the challenges that require community education. Perhaps at this point is when uh, as a teacher one needs to make a lot of reflections on the challenges or any other issues that affect that require community education. Bye.